Hello everyone, welcome to the another video in my series of semantic kernel and in this video we will see how we can generate the stream response from Azure OpenAI as well as OpenAI using Python. So now when I'm saying stream response, it means rather than waiting for LLM to give the complete response in one shot, we will just try to grab the response as and when it is available. So let's quickly have a look at it, how we can achieve this. So before starting this, here I'm going to show you the working flow of uh, using Azure OpenAI. So if you are going to follow the same flow, then make sure that you have your Azure OpenAI instance deployed and keys and endpoints are grabbed before starting this. So let's go ahead and install this package first. So this feature is available in the semantic kernel 096B1. So make sure that you are installing this particular version. And after installing this, what I'm doing is I'm just importing the semantic kernel and the .env values because using .env values, I'm going to read my configuration which holds all the parameters, uh, sensitive parameters like my Azure API base, API key, the chat model I'm using. So for all that, I'm doing this and then I'm generating, creating an instance of kernel because this instance will is the one which is going to take care of everything and we are going to associate all the services to this particular instance. So make sure that you are doing these two things correctly before proceeding further. The next I'm using Azure Chat Completion. So for that, like this is a service which we are going to associate with our kernel. So what I'm passing here is Azure Chat Completion needs these three parameters as well as unique service ID. So you can just provide this and let's say you want to use Azure OpenAI. In that case, you can use its respective class which is OpenAI Chat Completion and the rest of the code will uh, change accordingly so there you don't need the uh, endpoint so make sure that you are supplying the proper parameters so i'm going to execute this cell as well the next thing is uh, the execution settings so execution settings are uh, all those execution settings uh, uh, consist of all those parameters which we need to pass in while making a call to LLM. So it could be your max tokens, it could be your top K, it could be your penalty related parameters or any other parameters you want. You can just pass it here by comma separated. So these are all the various parameters you can pass it. So I'm just going with the bare minimum, uh, which is max token 150. And again, Make sure that you are importing the correct execution settings. Here, this is for Azure Chat Prompt execution settings. Similar class you will find for OpenAI as well. So once this execution set, uh, settings are created, next thing is we need to here maintain uh, some kind of history because here we are not showing the message in one shot. Rather, we are displaying the message as and when is, uh, it is available. So for that, we need to grab this chat history and like this is a chat model, so we need to associate system message as well as the user message. So in my case, my system message is this. You are an AI assistant that can create amazing poems. And this is my user message where a user is asking for a poem on a rainy day. So once this is done, then we can go ahead and call this function complete chat stream. So make sure that you are passing these parameters because these are the mandatory parameters and without this it will end up giving you an error so chat is the parameter wherein i have already uh, hooked my system and the user messages then these are the settings which we need to make a call to llm so once this is done we will get a response in the form of stream and as this is an asynchronous process make sure that this is the syntax how we make a call in a python so you can just do this and if you will execute this cell, you will see that you are getting the response as and when it is available. Now, the reason why it is coming like this is because we have not provided any delimiter. And when you are not providing any delimiter, in that case, it will just take every uh, available text or the character whenever it is available as a new line. So if you want to avoid the new line, you can just provide your some delimiter over here. So you can say and equal to let's say I just want to give it a space rather than new line and we can change it so definitely you can provide any parameter of your choice here so now you can see how nicely it is generating let me quickly run it once again and you can see that rather than 
pushing the entire response in one shot it is now giving you character by character or the word by word as and when it is available so this is how easy it is to uh, generate the stream response and if you want to generate the similar kind of response in without semantic kernel then you can refer my other video where I have, I have explained the same flow that was without using semantic kernel. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and do let me know in comments if you are facing any kind of issues generating this. Thanks for watching.